Now, a lot of players use too much body and too much arms and have no understanding of how the wrists need to work. Now, very similar to if you were banging a nail into a piece of wood, you're gonna get the most leverage and speed by allowing the wrist to hinge. Most players are under the assumption that they wanna keep the wrists frozen throughout the golf swing. And that's gonna to lead to more consistency. However, it just adds tension, more inconsistency, because eventually the arms will break down and compensate in one way or another. So when we're making our backswing, by the time that the lead arm is parallel, as a simplification, what we wanna see is that we're creating an L-shaped structure between the club shaft and the lead arm. That will allow the wrists to hinge, create load and leverage,